your home address, your phone number, your email address. You might think that as you surf the web, these things are all safe, but they're really not. Hackers have developed these amazingly complex and clever ways to steal your data. Let's dive in. Yep, so we're here at privacy.net slash analyzer, and we'll see what data is exposed from our browser. Click on start test. The basic info test, I wasn't too surprised by the things that I'm seeing here, except for one thing. I was very surprised that your laptop or desktop has 50% battery remaining, and all this data, just to be clear, is accessible to every single website you visit. It's gonna get a lot scarier here. Let's click on autofill leak test at the top. Please select your state or region from the drop down below. This is not a drop down, but it's extremely clever. So click on it, and then you'll see the autofill information that David made up this morning is being suggested. You're on a website, it asks for your state. You think, okay, I'm not adding an account, I'm just telling them my state. No big deal, right? Wrong. Wrong. Email address, street address, phone number, zip code, and city. Boom. By entering your state, how did they steal all your personal information? Well, there are hidden fields in the background of this web page that are invisible to you, but the address field is there, the name field, the phone number field, and so when you autofill the state, the browser autofills the rest as well, and then hackers can steal it. I thought this one was pretty clever. Let's click on user account tests next. Our test shows you're logged into the following accounts. Gmail, YouTube. Ah, who cares, right? Uh, you should care because if you use the same password for a bunch of different accounts and people can see that you're logged into all these accounts, if they get one of your passwords, they might be able to get into all of your accounts pretty easily. The other reason is that they can see more than just the fact you're logged into YouTube, for instance. If YouTube, for example, and I'm not sure that they do, had a list of recent videos that was sort of saved in your browser, these are the types of artifacts that get collected as you browse the web, Maybe it could see your download history or your watch history or your search history. Same with Gmail, it's dependent upon the service you use. Next is the browser capability test. The browser capability test is really not too interesting to me, but how it's used is really scary. So let's go to the fingerprint analysis section. Fingerprint analysis, this test gathers all of the little bits of information stored in your browser that on their own don't mean much, but when combined, however, they can form a fingerprint so distinct that it could only plausibly match one person or a very small group of people. So if I click on begin fingerprint analysis, here we go, there is my fingerprint. Right, so what they did is they took lots of data that really doesn't mean much on its own and then combined it and built a profile of David. It's kind of like a puzzle that they can put together where all these little pieces of data that they can get about your web browser, they put it together and then they can track David even if he's not logged into a website, even if he hasn't given them any personal information at all, and even if he has do not track turned on, because do not track is a request, not a command. And they're just gonna ignore it. They're gonna ignore it. They already stole your email address. What are they gonna care about that? This is all scary stuff. Is there anything we can do? There is some things you can do. We have a lot of videos showing you how to increase your personal privacy on your iPhone, for example. Link to those in the description section below. It's hard to totally secure yourself, but every little bit does help. It certainly does. So please join our channel. You get access to us. Subscribe. We're not supposed to ask you to do more than one thing, but... Maybe you're feeling generous today. Yeah, maybe you are. And so, if you're feeling yeah. super generous, give this video a thumbs up too. Thanks for watching.